Hey, this is DC generator and in this video we are going to get important relation between terminal voltage and induced EMF in long shunt generator. Long shunt generator. Yes. Basically, there are various types of DC generator and the classification of those DC generator we have seen previously. If you want to understand classification and if you want to understand working of DC generator with animations, construction of generator with animations, then you can check out these videos. These are really helpful videos. The equation we are going to get and the approach I am going to discuss that will be very much helpful for you when you solve numericals on DC generator. And it is very much helpful to understand the DC machine. So without wasting further time, let's get started. So first of all, we will see the cross-sectional view and single line diagram of long shunt generator. Basically, the field winding is divided into two sections. One is in series and the other one is in shunt. So let's see, the armature is connected in series with the one field winding, which is connected like this. And the another half of field winding is connected like this. So these two are the field windings. Now if we observe the cross-sectional view, then the series field winding is connected with armature like this and the shunt field winding is connected like this. So this is the complete uh, winding distribution in DC generator. Now we want to develop the relation between terminal voltage and induced EMF. And for that we will get the equivalent circuit of DC generator, a long shunt DC generator. So let's have the equivalent circuit. So here in this circuit, this section is ultimately the armature section. Armature is being replaced by one resistance and a DC source. This DC source is basically the induced EMF. It is the representation of induced EMF. And this is the resistance, which is basically the representation of armature windings resistance. So now let's have the shunt section of field winding, which is being connected like this. Now we will have the different electrical parameters in this circuit. So let's have it. This is the series field windings resistance which is known as RSE. This is the resistance of armature winding. E is the induced EMF. RSH will be the shunt field windings resistance. And over here we will get the terminal voltage V. Now our aim is to establish relation between this terminal voltage V and induced EMF E. So how can we do that? We can measure terminal voltage using multimeter or any other voltmeter. So if we can subtract voltage drop in this resistance and in this resistance, then by adding terminal voltage with this voltage drop and this voltage drop, we can have this induced EMF. So for that, we require to find the armature current which is flowing through this circuit. So now let's have the current distribution in long shunt DC generator. Basically because of this induced EMF E, we have the armature current. This armature current flows through the armature winding as well as the series field winding. But at this moment, the armature current is divided into two halves. One goes to the field winding and the another goes to the load. So this is the complete current distribution in long shunt DC generator. So basically current flowing through the armature as well as series field winding that will be IA current. So this is the complete equivalent circuit of this DC long shunt generator. So to get this voltage drop what we need to find we need to find IA current, IL current and ISH current. IL current can be directly measured using emitter. If we want to get ISH current that we can get through the equation V by R. Voltage across these two terminal is V. So the same voltage applies across these two terminals. So ISH can be find as V divided by RSH. 
Now if we know IL and ISH, we can write equation for IA that is equal to ISH plus IL. So now we know the IL current. So from this, if we apply KVL in this loop, we can write V is equal to E minus IERA, this voltage drop and minus IERAC, this voltage drop. So basically this IA current is common in this both the resistance. So if we take this IA current common, then we can write equation in this manner. So finally, if we want to write equation for induced EMF, we can rearrange this equation like this. So this is the equation for induced EMF. And now it's time for your brain test. I am going to ask you a small question and you need to answer me the question. And your question is this. From previous equation, can you tell me the relation between induced EMF E and terminal voltage V? Your options are this. Just think, remember, imagine, analyze and then write the answer in comment section below. I want you to write answer in comment section below if because if you can answer this question, that means you have understood this video properly. And that is why I'm asking the question. In next video, we are going to derive equation for short chain generator. If you want to go for other videos on DC generator, then there is a link for the playlist. I insist you just at least check out that playlist, right? So if you want to learn more things, if you want to watch more animated videos on any topic, then you can write that thing in comment section below. I'll try to make videos on those topics. So until we meet again in our next video, till the time, bye bye.